Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk a little bit about charity. Uh, of course, everyone's talking about the Wounded Warriors Project. You see all these videos and basically the big issue, of course, is that they're not going to accept money or be involved with any kind of gun manufacturers and blah, blah, blah. You'll see all these, all the gun channels talking about it, so you don't need me to tell you of all about it. It's everywhere. <laughs> but uh, since it's the topic of the day or of the week and everyone's talking about it, um, I thought I'd do a little spin-off video and talk about World Vision. Now, I had a few people, not many, but I had about six or seven in the last couple of weeks uh, ask me if I'm going to do another charity. Um, since I've been on YouTube pretty much every year, towards Christmas time, I've raised money um, for some kind of charity. Now, of course, I always suggest if you're you know, looking to, to give to, to a charity to figure out what you personally like, something you may want to donate to, someone else may not care much about. Of course, if you have personal uh, issues, if you have someone in your family that's dealing with cancer, you know, or know someone that's dealing with cancer, you might want to support some kind of cancer foundation for research, you know, something like that. It could be very specific. Um, a lot of us feel blessed with what we have and we give back when we can. And it, it seems to me that more times than not, when you're low on your luck and when your um, you know, chips are down and whatever they're kind of saying you want to throw out there, any kind of cliche saying, I tend to find that people who don't have money to give are the ones that give the most and they're most generous because they can personally understand what it's like to not have something or you know, at least to be in it going through rough times. Now, something I will add before I even really get into the video is that the economy's crap. It's been crap for a while, it's gonna to continue to be crap, and if anything, we'll just get worse and worse. <laughs> so, of course, if you uh, really are kind of struggling, uh, I wouldn't suggest um, donating, uh, honestly, to any charity. Uh, it's always nice, but you can't help someone else unless you help yourself first. And it's not a selfish or greedy thing, you know, you got a family and you got kids to take care of, or, you know, even just you and a spouse, or even just you. Who knows? Um, you got to take care of business at home first. It's that whole saying, you know, if you're in an airplane and, you know, the little oxygen masks come down, you got to put one on yourself before you can put on your kids. But um, I actually was going to do a video um, talking about this, this catalog because it was interesting to me. I've never seen this before. I've been doing the mail for nine or excuse me, eight years now. And I've never noticed putting distributing this. Okay, so this year, a couple weeks ago, I happen to notice it, and occasionally when I'm putting mail out, I happen to look at it. I mean, I'm looking at names and, and numbers and stuff like that to put it in the appropriate place, but I happen to see what they are. And uh, a lot of times, if I see something that piques my interest, I'll jot a note down of what the, uh, the catalog name is, or perhaps a magazine name, and I'll look it up later. If it's in the case of a catalog, you know, and they're free, I'll go to the website and get my own so I can look at it later. But uh, this is something I took note of, and I never heard of it before. Uh, you know, you guys, some of you may know all about it, some of you may, maybe never heard of it, but I was interested, because uh, I basically just flipped through real quick, and I noticed pages like this, like farm animals, and uh, ducks and chickens, and I'm like, what? I just looked at it briefly, and it was purchasing, like, you know, you can purchase animals, and I didn't really, I mean, I'm at work, I don't have time to peruse and, and look really through things in detail. But I'm like, all right, let me jot that down, World Vision. And I looked into it later, and I ended up getting a copy for myself in the mail. just came in a couple of days ago. And uh, I wanted to do a video talking about how it's just interesting. And the whole idea behind this is that it's a catalog specifically for, you know, it's Christmas time. Time to kind of give back that whole deal. Um, and basically what you can do is you can donate uh, money or purchase these in this case, animals, or even in some cases, uh, services. And you know, you give it to people who don't have them. Um, everything from medicine in here, emergency food. You can sponsor kids, obviously, to help them go to school. You can buy, you know, girls bicycles so they can get around, soccer balls for kids to play with, um, clothes. You know, you can buy a water well, um, water filters, all kinds of stuff. You know, malaria, or excuse me, <laughs> yeah, you can buy malaria. You can, uh, you can buy anti-malaria stuff like mosquito nets. Um, it's interesting. And actually, what I really wanted to make a video on was the ducks, or excuse me, the rabbits. I thought it was kind of, kind of funny because when I first was looking at this and I got it here, this page. 
I'm looking at this and they're like, oh, you can buy some rabbits for these kids. And that's so cute. Look at the picture they take. But it's so they eat the rabbits. It's not for pets to keep them occupied. It's so they can eat food. But I just think it's funny. Obviously, it doesn't, you know, if you're Joe Schmo and you got this in the mail, you don't want to see a little kid with like a, a rabbit leg hanging out of their mouth. <laughs> so they do this nice, nice, cute picture holding the rabbits. Cute little rabbits. But no, it's food. It's so they can live and survive. Um, you know, in this case, you could buy, you know, the, the funds to to dig and stock a, a pond for kids to fish in and people to fish in to eat. Anyway, uh, you know, fruit trees, all kinds of stuff. Really interesting. And uh, originally, like I said, I wanted to make a video, not making fun of it, but just pointing out that it's kind of strange, a little bit different. And you know what? I, I gave it a lot of thought. And the more I read through it, and the more I looked into it, because I wanted to see how legit they were as a uh, an actual um, charity. And of course, there's a million charities out there, and sometimes you don't know where the money's going and stuff like that. I found them to be obviously a huge charity. I'm surprised I never I never personally knew of them before. I'm sure they're they're well known, but um, I liked it and I wanted to support it. And I figured this would be my charity of the year. And if you guys are interested, I'll put information in the description box if you do want to do a collective uh, donation. Um, I'm personally going to donate fifty dollars. Uh, I think that's uh, you know it's significant for me, but uh, everyone's different. But of course, you could do things on your own. Some people get to, well, why would I give you money to, to donate together? Why don't I just do it myself? Absolutely, sure, donate wherever you want. It's nice to give back. But I, it's cool to do it like in a group thing. Like last year we did, well, I say we, anyone who was involved, we um, donated to the animal shelter. And it was really cool giving like a large sum, you know, together. And it was a couple hundred bucks and it was really, really nice. And you know, they really appreciate it. It was just, it was fantastic. So I like that collective thing. And I can give on behalf of like the YouTube community. You know, of course, we don't say gun knife community, just, just the YouTube community, strangers from all around the world. So if you are interested, I will have uh, information in the description box. But uh, I looked into it, they are legit. Um, if, you're don if you're looking to donate to any charity at all, you know, go to the website, and not just their website, but, you know, do a little random search, see what other people have to say, see what the forums, you know, people are talking about it have to say. Uh, of course, a legit charity will be able to, or should be able to, post publicly their tax information for past years, show the income, show, you know, revenue, um, overhead. In this particular case, they stay around a 14% overhead rate, meaning about 14% of the donations have to go back into paying employees and, and paying for, you know, these people to get places and do commercials and, you know, put out the, you know, magazine or catalogs like this. 14% is actually pretty low in comparison uh, to a lot of different charities. So I think it's very acceptable. I mean, it's nice when people donate for free, but some of these people, it's their job to do. And as far as employees, they get, uh, pretty much the cost of living, which is minimum wage. They're not getting some ridiculous salary. Uh, you know, you can look into more information. If it's something you agree with, then that's cool. If it's something you don't want to be part of, that's cool too. Um, but I thought I'd talk about it since a couple people did ask. And it, it's kind of a spinoff to the whole talking about the Wounded Warriors Project deal. Um, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. I, they still give money to Wounded Warriors. You know, I think it's fantastic. They don't give as much as I'd like them to give, but it's not my call. It's not for me to say. The whole, it just seems very ironic that they don't want to associate with, what, you know, quote unquote weapons. That's the whole deal here is they don't want to be, it, as far as the general public, that they're supporting guns because I, I guess in one specific case, they said, you know, a lot of a depressed warriors come back, they commit suicide, so they don't want to um, support guns and or alcohol or the combination of both or Whatever, it's just stupid to me that you know you're you're collecting money to give to soldiers who are using weapons to save their lives as well as protect their freedom, but you don't want to support weapons. I mean that's the whole purpose. That's why they're <laughs> that's why they're wounded and not dead because they had weapons, but you don't want to take money for that. I don't know. It just, it just seems strange. It's not like something completely random. It's obviously directly related. You're talking about people collecting money for the military. The military is basically a bunch of people with weapons. So, I don't know. Seems strange. But, you know, everyone has their own opinion. Of course, you're going to share them in the comments down below, which I wish you to do, because that's how we communicate. It's all good. So, 
anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do this video because uh, Christmas is around the corner. And, uh, and that's it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time, as always. And uh, here, you know what, before I go, let me show you. Well, I kind of flipped through it anyway. Um, yeah, for 50 bucks, that I mean, what I'm personally going to donate... And it's kind of weird looking through here because I can't get a bunch of stuff. I mean, some some's expensive, some's not. You get ten fruit trees for sixty bucks. Um, animals, let's say ducks. Yeah, you get three ducks for eighteen bucks. I don't know what animals call. I guess these are you know I don't know what good prices are for animals. I never shopped for farm animals before. Chickens, chickens can't want. They can't cost that much. All right, well, two chickens, twenty five bucks. Is that good? I don't know. Any farmers out there? You get dairy cow for 500. I don't know. I mean, 50 bucks, I guess I can get like a, I don't know, how much does a pig cost? And then you gotta want, like, what do you pick? Do you want to get an animal for someone? you want to teach someone how to fish? You can stock school supplies. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Emergency food. Oh, here we go. Here's what I'm into. $250 worth of emergency food for 50 bucks. Might do something like that. But I don't know, I guess collectively it'd be cool. I mean, this, the big deal here is the, uh, I guess you get like a whole farm, 28 farm animals, but it's two grand. So that's kind of a high goal to reach. Uh, I, don't, I don't like setting goals, because then if you don't meet them, you feel disappointed, so. The goal is 50 bucks and we're already there with me. But if anyone else wants to throw it in together, of course I'll do follow-up videos. If I, if we, and I mean collectively, whoever donates, I'll take your information and I'd like to actually communicate with each other and as a group decide together, you know, what we uh, do. Majority will rule on what we pick from here or whatever. It'd be cool if we sponsor a kid or something. If that's the case and you get those letters in the mail and stuff, of course I'll do videos on them and, and follow up. and. And if they give you some kind of gift back for your donations, we'll all just randomly pick, you know, someone in the group to send it off to. Something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling like uh, feeling like giving back a little bit. Um, I, I've really, <laughs> I've grown up a lot in, in a lot of different ways. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm much less excited about stuff in my life as I am experiences. And, uh, you know, I do feel very blessed and, and fortunate for what I have. And I work very hard for it, but uh, I know there's a lot of people don't have it, uh, you know. And it's just, I don't know, it's uh, it's humbling to, to see stuff like this. And, of course, I, I know there's people all around the world. And it's amazing to me to think that it's like, it's almost like, you know, you go to history class in high school and you learn about tribes and stuff. And that still exists, you know. You guys are sitting on your computer watching YouTube videos and someone else around the world is uh, milking a cow because they have nothing else to, to drink. I mean, I don't know. It, it's a fascinating thought to think that these people, I mean, a lot of people live in you know, third world countries and stuff like that. And they live in basically like a different time period. But on the flip side of that, someone could be sitting with no shoes in a tent and they're on YouTube watching this video too. <laughs> so you just never know. But it's an interesting, fascinating thought um, to think that all the people on the planet, how different people's lives really are and how those people will never, ever meet. That's what's actually really unique about the Internet is that someone right now from Africa can be, like I said, just why find it up in a you know, tent somewhere <laughs> watching this video as well as a, a CEO of some major corporation with his you know, $15,000 suit and, uh, and Rolex watching the same video, talking to the same people. So, I don't know. The internet's a pretty cool thing. But that's all. Just uh, feeling good, feeling like giving back. Actually, speaking of giving back, I will do a video soon for Thanksgiving, which uh, I want to do something different this year, and I'm not going to, I'll keep it a little surprise. You'll see what it is, because I'll do a video on it. But uh, till then, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I thank you for watching. Take it easy.